Hi guys, I would like to touch on an issue with After Effects. Um, it seems like a lot of people are experiencing this issue. It's a, a single red frame glitch that happens now and again. I'm just going to play this video. This is a final uh, production that I've done and it's uh, rendered and everything. So I'm just going to hit play. Then you'll see there's a red frame glitch that's going to happen now. There, you saw that. So it seems like a lot of people are experiencing this issue. And I found one thread that uh, that touched on this and it seems like it's working for me. But I think only if you do separate your sound and your video channels, um, then I think this can work for you as well. All right, so the workaround I'm using is uh, re-encoding the raw footage. So that we do with Adobe Media Encoder. So if we go to Media Encoder, I am actually re-encoding the raw footage now right so what i did is i just applied the the jpeg sequence right and i just used the match source and i kept the the quality to 100 okay so it's now busy encoding i'm just going to show you the output on on this encoding uh, these are the frames and i i can't see the red frame on any one of these thumbnails so it seems like it's working so far so i'm going to let this finish and then I'm going to come back and, and re-render it and see if this resolved the issue. Okay, so our encoding is done. Um, you can see here there are 63,000 uh, JPEG sequence files in this folder. Right? Uh, there are two things I hate about this workaround. One being an extra process. And the other one is if we just go see how big this file is. Right? This is climbing. 24 gigabytes, right? So this is very large. Um, so I, I really don't like this, okay? But anyway, so this is the only thing that worked for me so far. So I'm gonna go to my After Effects, and um, this is the raw footage, right? That's a MOV file. And then here, um, I'm just gonna play a part that I know there is a red frame. So you can see there, okay? Um, I'm going to replace the file here with the new sequence. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say replace footage and file. And then this is our JPEG sequence. I'm just going to go on the first one. Uh, and it's the JPEG sequence selected. I'm going to go import. Okay, so I'm just going to go through that part again um, just to see if that red frame still appears. So it doesn't. So I'm going to render this and I'm going to see if it worked and then um, I'll show you after the render. So the render finished and then I'm just going to play it back to see if those red frames still exist. Um, I'm just going to hit play here. I know just before I clicked there, that was a red frame that popped up here. So that disappeared. I went through the whole video and um, I didn't see any of the red frames. Okay. The uh, render I did was through Media Encoder, and uh, I just applied a H.264, um, the 1080p HD preset. Okay, so it seems like this workaround is, does work for me, but uh, I, I still don't really like the workaround, but this is the only thing I found that, that worked for me guaranteed. Okay, so I hope this helped, and I hope it helps for you as well. And um, I hope there is a better solution in the future.